Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial on my channel. Many years ago I followed Blender Guru's tutorial on creating reserve and there was a slight inconvenience driving with mixed shader for the day and the night side. On the day side we want to see the normal surface textures and on the night side we want to see the city lights. So we use this normal node to control this mix factor. Adjusting the day and night transition with this normal node is quite tricky and annoying and if you reposition your sun you have to do this process all over again. In Eevee there is a simple solution to this problem because in Eevee there is this node available shader to RGB and when we plug in this little node setup into the mix factor we can adjust the day and night transition with a color ramp. Unfortunately shader to RGB doesn't work in cycles. When I switch back to cycles again, this doesn't work at all. But there's a solution with geometry nodes. Here is our plan. We compute a normal vector from the center of the earth to the sunlight and we measure the angle between each normal on the surface and this vector to the sun. If the angle is below 90 degrees, we know that we are on the day side and if it's above 90 degrees, we know that we are on the night side. To make the position of the sun available in the shader editor, we need geometry nodes. So we add the modifier geometry nodes and switch to geometry nodes editor. We add in, under input an object info node and select our sun. We switch to relative and plug the location into the group output. Under output attributes we need to name our location sun position for example. Now we can switch back to shader editor and with the attribute node we have access to our sun position. With the object info node and converter vector math with the option subtract we can compute our sun vector. We can get the normal vector from the texture coordinate node and the formula to compute an angle between two vectors is arcus cosine of the dot product from these two vectors divided by the product of the length of these two vectors. The implementation of this formula is easy. We can duplicate this vector math node and set it to dot product. We connect our sun vector and the normal and we duplicate our vector math node once again and set them to length. Plug the sun vector into the first node, duplicate once again and connect the normal vector to the other length node. Normally the, the normal vector should always have the length 1, but you never know. Now we need the normal math node, set it to multiply and multiply the length and duplicate it and set it to divide and divide the dot product by the product of the length. We duplicate our nav node once again and set it to arcus cosine. And now we duplicate once again our math node and set it to subtract. Plug in the value in the first input and Blender calculates angles in radians. So we can type in pi divided by 2. It is time to test our shader. We switch to viewport shading and connect the value into the mix factor and we see the city lights are on the day side. There's an easy fix. We switch the direction of our sun vector 
and now the city lights are on the night side. We can add a color ramp to adjust the day and night transition. And when we move our sunlight around, the city lights are always on the opposite. And you see now there is a slightly disadvantage of our shader. It does ignore the direction of the sunlight. To fix this issue, instead of calculating the vector from Earth to Sun, we can use the direction of the Sun as an input vector for our shader. When you add a new sunlight, it is pointing downwards, minus Z, and on from this direction, it's applied, for example, this rotation here, and you get the, um, the direction of the sunlight. So what we need to do is take the vector 0, 0, minus 1 and apply this rotation and we get the direction of our sunlight. We can do the calculation in geometry nodes. So we switch back to geometry node editor and we add input vector set the set to minus one and we add vector vector rotation node set it to Euler rotation plug in the rotation into the rotation in input and the vector into the vector and the output vector into the group output make a new output and name it sun rotation now we can go back to the shader editor and replace our sun position with sun rotation. Now we can go back to viewport shading. Now we have the same problem as last time. We need to switch our set up here once again and now the city lights are on the night side and when I now move the sunlight around it works perfectly and when I rotate the sunlight the day and night transition works perfectly. After so many years we have now a applicable solution to this problem we can now animate day and night cycle very easily in cycles. And that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.